Wednesday is a pretty boring day in terms of classes, but it is one of my favorite days of the week because we have our club meeting for USC Reach, which is the social media club. I've probably talked about it on this channel before. Usually during our meetings, we have a ton of guest speakers. So today we had Tammy Hudson, which is Lil Huddy's mom, and Eric Artel, who works at Collab, which I think they manage David Dobrik. Everything he's done is given its open doors and opportunities for modeling, for... I have seen a number of creators who, if only they had stayed more consistent, they would have found the success that they were searching. Number one rule of being famous content creator, consistency. My name's Alex Lee and I'm always consistent with always my vlogs. And so is Victor. I was so consistent with my <laughs> Tuesdays and Thursdays are my longest day of classes, so obviously I had to start my day off with Duncan. They finally opened one near school, and I am from the East Coast, so Duncan is my favorite thing ever, and it was the only thing that this school was missing. I ended up just doing a lot of homework during the afternoon and then going to the gym. Thursday is basically the weekend because no one has classes on Fridays for the most part. So we were going out tonight and I wanted to take a camera with me. I wanna bring a film camera tonight, so I'm gonna show you my options. I thought I had a disposable camera, but maybe I don't. So I have the Olympus, this manual camera, which is basically a disposable, kind of similar to the Rito camera that I reviewed a few videos back, um, but this one does have a flash, so maybe I'll test this out this weekend. And I also like it because it has a strap. Okay, I've got a roll of Fujifilm. This is the one I get at CVS all the time because it's the cheapest. Okay, so this has no batteries for the actual camera itself, just for the flash. So everything is pretty manual. All right, I think it's ready to go. Flash is working. Let me take a test shot. Ready to go. I'm not gonna bring the vlog camera, just the film and my iPhone. So let's see how this goes. I spent all of Friday working on an essay and it was actually really cool because it's for my interpreting pop culture class. And my essay was about the TikTok algorithm and fashion culture on TikTok, which was actually really fun to write. Then I grabbed dinner with friends before getting ready for the night. Which, what's the other one? So it's this? Yes. Or. My fake Versace sunglasses. Hmm. First ones. First one. All right, so the flash on my camera oh. died. Oh, well, there's other things oh. going on. <laughs> I'm not going to say a word. Not one <laughs> single word. Anyways. The flash of my camera died, so I can't take any more pictures, which is so frustrating. Aww. But we'll get more pictures tomorrow at game day and brunch, yeah. which will be fun tomorrow. Yeah, let's let's have a real nice debrief recap yeah. of tonight before brunch. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good night. <laughs> Saturday was the longest day, but in the best way possible. It was our friend Landon's birthday, and we were celebrating our other friend John's birthday, so we wanted to get brunch before the game. All right.
setting up the birthday <laughs> gift. Yay! Gotta make sure she's alive in there. <laughs> alive and breathing. All right, should we bring them out? Don't tell her. You don't want to wake up. I want to eat it. No. So we got you a gift that you have to take good care of. You guys got good gifts for us. say USC has everything. One of the best parts of being here is the football games and the tailgates. We start tailgating at least three hours before the game and they're the best days of the year. This is where the majority of the pictures happen so bear with me for the rest of the afternoon. Honestly, I really like this camera. I think it is a little bit bulky, but I do appreciate that there's a flash. It's pretty easy to use, especially since I've used other cameras that were similar to this in terms of like the winding process. I would say if you're looking for something similar to a disposable camera, but want a camera that's reusable, this is perfect. <laughs> 
I also think it's really similar to that Kodak camera that they sell on Urban Outfitters, so I would also check that out. I need to try these kinds of cameras with a different kind of film because I keep using ISO 400 film and it's not bright enough for what I'm looking for. If you made it to this point, thank you for watching. I am going to make more of these because I really actually enjoy filming this process and taking you along in a weekend at school. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.